Six minutes late. My own life. I have a noisy dog under the coffee table. No one's here. I'm holding my iPad because it refuses to charge very well these days. What's going on with it? It's getting old. I'm not going to affirm that. My iPad works perfectly. Hi guys. Hi Kat. Hi Kiara. Hi Angel Girl. Kat, I love your TikTok with the mushroom art. Gorgeous. Love it. Looks stunning, darling. Did you paint that yourself? On yourself? So cool. Hi Angel Girl. Hi guys. Hi Liana. Hi Tracy Bartels. How are you going, darling? Hi Astra B. Hi Louie. Hi, 3,060 foot. <laughs> I can't read those numbers. Hi, Faminda. Good to see you. Oh, hi, darling. Hi, Shell. What's happening? What an amazing day. Everything is so great in my reality. And thanks. Yes, I did that myself. Ah, oh, there's even a mushroom emoji. Wow, I didn't know that. Who knew there was a mushroom emoji like that? I never knew. Oh, it looked gorgeous, Kat. I loved it. But you're the queen. The drag queen's loving it. Laughing it up. Hi, Positive Fairy. How's that new car going, darling? Ah. Did you have a nice birthday? Hi, Loz. Bad news from 3D. I got fired. Oh, don't worry, Ali. Listen, sometimes firing's the best thing that fucking can happen to you. It might be a bridge of incidents or something better. Don't worry about it. When Neville got fired from JC Penny, he was a lift operator. And had he not got fired, he wouldn't now be the guru that we all know. He wouldn't have started going to Abdullah's lectures and becoming a manifesting master. Sometimes, darling, it's the best thing that fucking happen. Forces your hand. Forces you to find something better. Don't worry about it. I love it. I'm finally being myself. Thanks to you, Lois. Oh, can I love it? Yay! I would hold my hands up in the air and go, wah! But I'm holding my iPad. <laughs> Wonderful, darling. Yay! I've been seeing SP's name every, even every today and had the best dream last night. Oh, good, darling. Happy birthday, Positive Berry. I needed to hear this. Thanks, beautiful Oz. Don't worry, Hallie. Honestly, darling. Sometimes firing is the fucking best thing that ever happened to you. I remember I got fired once when I was 18, and I never knew why. Then years later, I found out that the manager was stealing money from the till. And every night, he'd make me clean up around the till. He'd say, oh, can you just sweep up around here? It was always my job. And he accused me of stealing money. And they fired me because they thought I was stealing money. It wasn't. And so I had this reputation program. He said, it wasn't me. And they found out later on the security cameras, they installed them that he was doing it. So sometimes you don't know why you get fired. It could be a complete mistake. But it turned out I didn't want to fucking work there anyway. So it worked out fine. Finally found that out years later. I was like, excuse me. Been doing self-concept and small movement. SP unblocked me. Oh, wonderful darling. Hooray. Hi, Lois. How's your mum? I'd love to know, Deb, but I can't call her. Because her phone isn't connected in a room. And it's lockdown now, so I can't go visit her. So it's frustrating. So it started as lockdown yesterday in Perth, so I actually can't go visit her till the weekend. And I can't call her because the phone isn't connected. So I'm going to have to ring them tomorrow and ask, can they go and connect up the phone and give me the phone number in her room? But the thing is, she's never in her room. So I'd have to either ring her first thing in the morning or last thing at night to try and catch her because they're kind of keeping her down in this living area. And I don't even think she knows where her new room is. Like... She'd be wandering around trying to find it. And the other day I went there and they locked the door so she wouldn't even know it was her room. And I said, leave the door open so she can see her furniture in there and her bed and know it's her stuff and know this is her room. How's she going to know it's her room? And they were like, oh. I was like, oh, fuck's sake. But thank you, darling, for asking. Oh, my God, that's crazy. What a terrible boss. I mean, my job is shit, but it's money. Yes, darling, don't worry about it. Just imagine that money is coming to you out of the blue. You don't even know where it's coming from. Having movement, birds will land. Oh, are you, Shell? What's happening? Hey, Beatus, Harindu, Harundu. I block my SP because I want to ignore the 3D. How to start dreaming about us. Now I start dreaming about us. Oh, well, do that, darling. If you absolutely, if it's absolutely necessary, guys, to block them, well, go ahead. You're my fave creator. I like when you yell at me on the For You page. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, darling. Cat Kaling. Oh, you're welcome. I'll scream at you anytime. <laughs> that, oh, thanks for the rose, darling. Oh, no, I feel for you with your mum heartbreaking. Oh, thank you, darling. Been doing self-concept for a week now and getting attention from so many men. It's crazy. SP on his way. Oh, yes, darling. Hello. Hi, Binaya. How are you, darling? I'm not saying your name right. 
My boyfriend told me he desperately loves and wants to marry me, then disappeared on me. Oh, well, lightning little. Maybe it's your old thoughts manifest. Do you have thoughts of he doesn't love me, he doesn't want me, he's not going to commit to me, he doesn't know what he wants, one minute he loves me, one minute he doesn't? What are your old thoughts you have about him? Or do you think it was all too good to be true? Oh my God, this is too good to be true. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Did he really mean what he said? Were you thinking anything like that? What were your thoughts, darling, when he said all that shit to you? Did you have your doubts? That's why. Just ignore this disappearing act that he's now portraying. Forget about it. Just believe that he loves you. And he meant what he said. Thank you for being an honest creator. I block all the people who say it's hard. Manifesting is easy. Good, darling. Good. Hooray. Laws, my SP has completely changed for the better. Thank you for all your help. I just lived in the end. Oh, yay. Oh, wonderful, darling. Oh, good for you, my sweet. Keep doing it, darling. Keep working on that self-concept. Keep seeing him as the new version. Good, darling. SP made his social media again after we broke up. I feel so low after seeing it. Don't worry, darling. Don't look at it. Just stay off the socials, guys. Stop looking at the socials. Stop being on social media. Stop being triggered by it. Just don't fucking look at it. Don't give it any money. Lots of attention from old friends and people treating me much better. Oh, wonderful, darling. We had a call the other day. Oh, wonderful. Yay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Um, I manifested going to uni this September. There were lots of circumstances, but I still got in. Oh, wonderful, darling. Hooray. Oh, congratulations. Uh, hang on. I'm scrolling down. Not many people here. Loz, help me. My self-concept is bringing every single guy back from the dead. I want a new one. <laughs> That's what happens, guys. Just what happens. Just get used to it. Just affirm the new one you want. My new man is so this and so that and he does this for me and he's like this for me. Write a new man checklist, darling. Perfect man checklist. I've got lots of self-concept affirmations. Can you have too many? Heard someone say I should only have six. Look, what I mean is by only have six or seven main ones or five or six main ones, they, that's probably pretty much all you can really remember off the top of your head without having to record them and listen back or whatever, unless you're doing them a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so ones you can just remember off the top of your head, five or six. The rest you can have as many as you like rampaging about how fucking great you are. Okay, how many of those you have? My SP told me he loved me today. Oh, Brody. And that he wished that I had been the only girl he's ever been with. Oh, Brody, that's so beautiful. Oh, darling, I'm thrilled. Yay. How beautiful. My closest friend and I fell out 13 years ago. I haven't seen her. She walked into my daughter's new work. Oh, wonderful, darling. And you've spoken. It's all good. Had an appraisal at work today. Went so well. My boss said, loves my sass. Oh, then you love it. Put that success story in the Facebook group, Brody. I love it. Uh, how to deal with situation when you're feeling guilty about something. How to work on self-concept. So, no one ever makes me feel guilty. I never feel guilty. I can say no and not feel guilty. Nothing ever makes me feel bad. Start affirming those things, darling. It's something in you where you don't feel good enough, where you could even feel guilty, where you let other people make you feel guilty. Don't worry about it. I'm eating my lunch and watching your life. Oh, wonderful, Astra B. I've got, oh, I saw that one. When there's something in 3D and we have bad thoughts but go back to the end, is it okay? Look, guys, you can't avoid bad thoughts all day. You can't avoid a negative thought. They will come up. Don't beat yourself up about them. Don't think it's going to ruin anything. Just say, my negative thoughts never manifest. Doesn't matter what I do. I can't fuck this up. My SP asked me for a divorce yesterday. Things were going so well. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. I just I just replied to you, Claire, on your comment. And I said, what have you been doing? You said, I've been affirming. And I want to know, Claire, exactly what you've been affirming. Tell me in the comments. I just replied to your comment on your video. If I write a manifestation letter to my SP, do I put on a date on it in the future? What are you talking about, a manifestation letter? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't believe in this shit. What, what is this manifestation letter? Do you mean something like you're writing a letter about what's going to happen or something? That's all right, but what do you mean a manifestation letter? Something that's going to happen, it's going to manifest? Oh, okay. Well, if you want to put a date on it, go ahead. If that's what you mean. I don't know what this manifestation letter thing is. I thought you were going to cry for a sec, and I was like, well, this is awkward because I didn't cry. <laughs> I almost felt like crying there, Brody, honestly. Wonderful, darling. I'm so thrilled. God, how long ago was I called? Ages ago. Look how far you've come, darling. I'm so proud. Really. 
What do you do when life throws curveballs that really upset you, not SP related, just life stuff? Just be like, well, shit, life happens, shit happens. This is just curveballs from my old thinking. Oh, well, I'm just going to fucking ignore it. Just don't worry about it, guys. A curveball could be a bridge of incidents to take you somewhere completely different that you hadn't even thought of that's way better than the thing you thought of. Sometimes a bridge of incidents, guys, looks like a shit show. It looks like a shit storm. It looks like things going absolutely wrong. It looks like a curveball. Don't worry about it. Sometimes it's getting fired. Sometimes it's the SP asking for a divorce. Sometimes it's a shit storm. Um, working on so much self-concept, getting impatient for getting a new job, a new work or a job. Well, darling, just say, I have a new job, I have a new job, I love my new job. Why are you getting impatient? I will cry for you both then. Oh. Uh, any tips for letting go when you're manifesting? I don't teach that absolute crap, darling. Cat Kaling, you got the wrong... A good channel for that bullshit. What is your favourite self-concept affirmations? I need some good ones. I need to be specific to you, darling. You can use very generic ones like I'm a queen, I'm treated like a queen, I'm a manifesting master, I get everything quickly and easily, stuff like that, but that's not specific. They need to be very specific to your issues, like I'm perfect just the way I am if you have body issues or defectiveness issues. No one would dare leave me, I'm too important to lose. If you have abandonment issues, they have to be very specific to you guys. I have been affirming that he loves me and only me and no one else and also started with my self-concept. Well, darling, you haven't been enough doing enough self-concept. Sorry. I knew that that's what you were going to say. It has to be all about you, not him. All about you. I am loved. I am wanted. No one would dare leave me. I'm too important to lose. Once you've felt my love, you love me forever. Once you've loved me, you can't love anyone else. Me, 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 me. Make it about you. You're focusing on him too much, I think. He loves me and only me. Well, why were you saying that? Was there a third party? Are you thinking there's a third party? Are you fearful of a third party? If you're saying things like he loves me and like, oh no, only me and no one else, you've obviously got fearful thoughts about a third party and his loyalty and that's what you're focusing on and you're just pushing him further away even with that affirmation. I know that's an affirmation that people seem to give, but implied in that affirmation is I'm fearful that he doesn't love me. I'm fearful that he's looking at others. I'm fearful that someone is competition in my reality in that affirmation. I want you to focus on you. You, 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 you. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. There is a third party had an affair and moved straight in with her. Oh, well, no shit. I can see it in the affirmation. So you're just like, come back to me, come back to me. You love me, you love me, you love me. Rather than, I'm the fucking shit dude. Who would dare leave me? I'm too fucking important to lose. There's no competition in my reality. She's a fucking nothing burger. She's a nothing to me. I don't even, she doesn't even enter my brain space. She's a germ. She's a nothing. I'm the fucking shit. I'm the fucking prize. Who would dare leave me? In fact, I don't fucking want you anymore because look at all these people giving me attention and love because I'm the shit. That's what you need to do, Claire. Not focus on the bitch and focus on him and giving you all your attention. I need you back. I need you back. I'm affirming for you, 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 you. He's going, oh, God. Desperate needy energy. I'll just hang out with this bitch who's not being desperate and needy. Work on your... Self-concept that's causing him to leave in the first place. What fearful thoughts were you having during the marriage that's caused him to leave and go with a third party? Assess that. Thanks, Megan, my darling. What were they? Have you sat down and realised what they were? I bet you fucking haven't, Claire. I bet you've just been going, he loves me and only me. He loves me and only me. He only has eyes for me. Me, 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 me. He loves me, me, me. Please don't he love me. Or have you sat down and realised what the fuck you were thinking, what fearful thoughts you had to cause the divorce in the first place, to cause the separation in the first place, to cause him drifting away from you in the first place? Have you done that? Because that's tied into your self-concept and then you know what to affirm against. I bet you fucking haven't, Claire. I need him back. I want you. You want me and only me. You want me and only me. You want me and only me. That's what you're doing. What were you doing during the relationship? Tell me what your fears were that caused the situation. You know what they were. What were they? I'm not good enough for him. He's got a wandering eye. He doesn't want to be with me anymore. I'm not enough. He doesn't think I'm beautiful anymore. He doesn't give me the love I need. He doesn't give me the attention he used to. He's drifting away from me. Why is he drifting away from me? Doesn't he love me anymore? What have I done wrong? I've done something wrong. Those things. Whatever they are, write them all down. 
and then write the complete opposite as an affirmation about you. I never do anything wrong. I'm fucking perfect. Who would dare leave me? I'm too important to lose, etc. I love the tough love rage so much. <laughs> uh, oh, Megan, all the presents. Stop it. I am the universe, no divine timing. So then when will my manifestations happen? What? What are we talking about? Have a beautiful day. Oh, you too, darling. Hi, Loz. 3 a.m. in California, heading to bed to listen to my sleep affirmations audio. Oh, yes, do that, darling. I had a terrible night's sleep, I think, because I woke up this morning and not very refreshed. Um, Orps declared to love to the person dating long distance and the response was he blocked me. Oh, darling, don't worry about it. Oh, Megan, thank you, darling. Just don't worry about it. Just say he loved hearing that from me. He loved every second of it. He's lapping it up. He's lying there thinking about me night after night now. He's mulling it over. He didn't know what to say. He was so nervous. He felt the same, but he didn't know what to say. He's, he's trying to put his words together to tell me that he loves me back. Give it all good meaning, darling. Thanking the universe for giving me my SP like it's already happened in the future. Oh, darling. You haven't been here before, have you? Nikita, there's no such thing as the universe. You are the fucking universe. That's what someone was trying to tell you. Don't thank the universe. Thank yourself. You're the fucking universe. You created the shit that caused the SP to go away. Now you can create the shit to bring them back. The end. Ta-da. You're a fucking master. You are the universe. Go to my Facebook page because you're hella lost as fuck. Watch all the lives. My toxic trait is applying everything you say to other people. What? My toxic trait is applying everything you say to other people. Omen. What do you mean? Just go, I don't understand it. Um, don't wish. That is why it's taking time. No, it is here already. Yes. Yes, guys. When you have fears coming in the way of getting something, how do I stop it? Write the opposite. Yes, darling, can do that. You can say, my fears never manifest. I have nothing to fear. It's just my imagination. Go tap it out with EFT. He had a girl's name in his bio, even though he said he wants me. Why are you worrying about that, darling? Why are you looking at the socials? Why are you even looking at the 3D? Why are you letting it affect you? Laws, I've been invited to SP's birthday drinks this Friday. Might not be on the same table as him. Oh, don't worry about it, Marissa. Just go there in your queen energy, looking amazing, feeling amazing, feeling yourself, darling. doesn't matter what fucking table you're on. In fact, if you're on an opposite table, it's going to drive him nuts even better. Just think, he can't stand it that I'm sitting all the way over here. He can't stop thinking about me. He's devising a way to come over and talk to me. I've been feeling like shit, but still affirming and living in the end. Good, darling. Not good that you feel like shit, but good that you keep affirming. Guys, that's the best way to pull yourself out of feeling like shit. I hope I can manifest me sitting with him. Just imagine he misses you sitting across from the room. And people don't sit in the same place all night, darling. Don't worry about it. Weird, he hasn't reached out to me, but he told people to invite me to come. Okay, good. Just get rid of the old story before you get there. Should I just picture the end of us together? Yes, darling, absolutely. I've got to go soon, guys. Got some calls. Um, 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 any more questions, guys? I'm scrolling up because I missed a, quite a few. My toxic trait. I saw that. I don't understand that one just at all, what you're saying. Um, don't reaffirm there's a third party. They don't exist. Exactly, darling. Exactly. Claire, did you hear that? Oh, the underlying context of affirmations. Never thought about that. Yes, guys. What's underlying them? When you say them. Um, oh, well, now I'm going to cry. You're like my second mum, Loz. So that means a lot. Oh, wonderful, Brody. Wonderful. I'm so proud, darling, honestly. My SP's best friend called me and said he was upset. I've been distant. My SP's best friend called me and said he was upset. I've been distant. My SP's best friend called me and said he was upset. Oh, this is the one. Oh, you're sleeping with the best friend. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> you're laughing about it. <laughs> oh, Brody, you're so sweet. Thank you, darling. Um, hang on, I'm scrolling up. What a sweet thing for you to say, Brody, my sweet. Uh, I can't see any more questions. Why is nothing happening? Guys, where are the questions? I thought I wasn't good enough. Our marriage was great. Thank you. Ta-da. There it is. So why do you feel not good enough, Claire? What happened in your childhood that makes you feel not good enough? It has nothing to do with your husband. What in you, what happened to you between the ages of zero to seven? 
what happened through your whole childhood what was your dad like to you what was your mum like to you how did they treat you did they criticize you a lot and make you feel not good enough did they tell you you're wrong or criticize your weight or your looks or your studies or compare you to other people or make you feel like you couldn't be heard that your feelings weren't valid did they not listen did they not nurture you and protect you did they not give you the love you need did they make you feel like you were wrong in some way unlovable in some way that's why then affirm against that darling did you put him on a pedestal the whole way through the marriage and think he was always above you and you weren't good enough for him that's why mm -hmm. what are you doing you're trying to sit down oh i'm sorry here you go here you go sit here here you go Seth. sit there my cat's trying to find a comfy spot Please bought the car and said it's okay. I'll afford the insurance. Something always turns up. Oh, what? Please bought the car and said it's okay. I'll afford the insurance. Something always turns up. What? What are you talking about, Bozzy Bro? Bought the car and said it's okay. I'll afford the insurance. Something always turns up. What do you mean? Per oh, part one. Car insurance quote on new car was way more as a bigger engine. I thought it was okay. Buy the car. Bought the car and said it's okay. I'll afford insurance. Someone, something always turns up. Yeah, don't worry about the insurance, darling. Something will work out. Where did the insurance yesterday? Same monthly amount. Just need to pay a change fee of twenty-seven euros. Oh, 72 euros. So okay, good. So it's just same amount. So you're freaking out. That might be more, but it wasn't. Good, darling. Good. Hooray. My parents were great, but my dad had an affair when I was five. Yes, did put him on a pedestal. Okay, so if your dad had an affair when you were five, then that would have set you up with the thought that men can't be faithful, men cheat, men stray, men can't be trusted. Did you think that at all through your marriage? Did you ever suspect that your husband was having an affair or think he might be looking at other women? Did you ever go and snoop and think he might be on the phone to other girls or looking at other girls or think his work colleagues were flirting with him or that he was looking at other chicks ever? But why did you feel not good enough? There's something in that. It's not just the affair stuff. It's saying I'm not good enough is something to do with you, not about other girls. It's about something where you were criticised a lot as a child or your parents were very strict or made you feel that you weren't enough in some way. That, darling. Part four. Went to tax the car. 180 for the year. Last car was 163 euros for three months. Oh, wonderful. God, wow. Good for you. Jesus. How can I make him want to commit? I feel like he only lusts over me. Well, if that's all you think, darling, then that's all happen. If you think, oh, all he wants is sex from me, all he wants is, you know, lustful stuff from me, then that's all he'll want. Stop saying that. Say, he loves every little thing about me. He wants to commit to me and only me. He only sees me as girlfriend material because I am perfect girlfriend material. I've had a thought SP will only commit at the end of her course, end of July, how to change that. Just get rid of that thought. Get rid of that story. Drop that story. She's ready now. She's ready now, now, now. How do I access appointment cancellation? Been trying to contact laws, but no answer to my messages. Are you talking to me? I'm right here. <laughs> Guys, there aren't any cancellations. No one's cancelled. There's one appointment next week that hasn't been paid by a person called Evan, and if they don't pay, they'll be cancelled. Okay? So I'll let you know in the thread where I put you have to pay your thing, and I've got the PayPal thing on the Facebook page, I'll put that a, a cancellation's come up. I promise. Was out working, felt like he was too good for me. Okay. He was too good for you. So why? Why do you feel that about yourself, Claire? We were together 17 years, had four kids. He had a business. So I was a stay-at-home mum and felt and felt bad. He was out working. Felt like he was too good for me. No. It's not about it's not about you feeling anything about him working or anything like that. It's not even about you thinking, oh, I'm just a stay-at-home mum and he's got this job and he's more important and he's better than me. It's not even about that. What in you makes you feel like you could even put someone above you on a pedestal and think they're more important than you, better than you, etc.? Why would you even feel bad that he was out working? Why wouldn't you think, well, I've got fucking four kids he has to look after. That's his job. I'm the queen. I'm treated like a queen and my kids are treated like royalty because he's the goddamn king in my reality and I'm the queen and that's what kings do. They go out and earn the cash. There's something in you, darling, where your self-esteem's so low that you even feel bad that he's gone off to work. What's in you? It's in you. It's not about him. What happened in childhood? Got to figure that out. 
He's saying I am SP's name, boyfriend, girlfriend, self-concept because it's I am. No. If you mention them, it's not self-concept, guys. Self-concept. The clue is in the fucking name. Stop trying to trick it into making it self-concept by saying I am. Struggling with dealing with the third party. Now the SP is back. Oh, 3D in the picture. I affirm daily. I'm struggling with dealing with the 3D. But still saying he's not ready to be together. Says eventually we'll be together again. We'll just ignore that fucking shit, darling. That's your old thoughts manifest. Just forget what he says. Just ignore it. Just be like, okay. And just laugh in your head and be like, oh, yeah, fuck, dude. You love me and only me. You're committed to me right now. Who the fuck are you kidding? Just got my queen tattoo. It's my new power back. Feeling great. Still affirming 80% me. Oh, you got a queen tattoo, Tracy. Oh, put it in the Facebook group. Can't wait to see it. Yay. This makes sense. My dad was very controlling towards my mum and she pandered to him. I've definitely reflected this dynamic. Yes, guys, you reflect every dynamic from your parents. If there was cheating, you'll always not be able to trust people. If somebody was downtrodden on a doormat, you'll think that's maybe how you need to be and you need to be an overgiver too and keep shum and keep quiet and keep mute and not stand up for yourself. Your concept of yourself, yes, guys. I stupidly listened to a psychic who told me SP is going to betray me and someone will tell me, oh, God. Don't listen to that shit. That's your fears out of their mouth. Lol, I know you're here. I thought I was replying to another comment. Booked for appointment 10th of July. But, oh, no, I saw your thing. I saw it, darling, but there's no there's no spots left. There might be a spot for you this weekend. I'll have a look and I'll get back to you, okay? Lol, is it okay to manifest someone out of our lives? If you want, darling, you can do it. Lost it while typing all the background info. Yes, I saw your message, darling. I've never had a chance to get back to you. My grandfather is on his deathbed, said to me, never trust a man. Oh, fuck, well, forget what he said. Jesus Christ. Forget all that shit, guys. If anyone ever said never trust men, men can't be trusted, just forget that. That's their crap. They're putting it in your brain. Just forget all that bullshit. Sometimes I feel like I'm delusional and crazy affirming stuff that feels so unreal. Well, then give up, darling, because you're not getting this. You're not understanding that you created everything with thinking before. All you're doing is changing thinking. All affirming is is new thinking. You get that, don't you? It's not delusion. It's new thinking. Hi, Loz. What does it mean when someone says I'm clinging but I'm barely hanging out with them? Well, I don't know, darling. What the fuck are you doing? Are you sending out needy, desperate energy with your thoughts, constantly thinking about them, constantly affirming for them, and them, 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 or are you focusing on them, on yourself? Focus on you, darling. Is he over-messaging, over-texting? What are you doing? Loz, what if I'm sick of saying my affirmations? What does that mean? Well, Nancy, just give up now, darling. It's new thinking. I don't know what to tell you. Sick of saying them. It's thinking. Are you sick of thinking? I must have subconsciously manifested Green Day's concert to be rescheduled rather than cancelled. Oh, I remember when I was 19 or 20, I wanted, there was a Green Day concert um, across the road from our uni and we could hear the music and we're like, oh my God, we got out of uni on our side of the road was our uni. There was uni on the other side. And we raced over there. And I had five friends with me, me and five friends. And I was like, we got to the door and all these people, like some people were coming out, but most people were already in there. And I was just like, oh my God, if only we had tickets. And as I said it, this man just walked up, shoved a pile of tickets in my hand and walked out of the concert. I looked and there were six tickets, exactly six tickets for us. I was so shocked. I didn't even get to turn around and thank him. I was like, and I was just like, the six of us, the six tickets, that guy just handed them to me. As I said, if only we could add tickets. And in we went. And we watched this Green Day concert. It was fucking crazy. I manifested that guy literally handing me six exact tickets. <laughs> so cool. And I loved them when I was growing up. And this was years later. And I was just like in my element like, oh, my God, it's Green Day. There's such a good feeling about being at a concert. Yes. That's awesome. Wasn't that a cool story? I was couldn't believe six tickets. Like the amount of tickets. Like what the fuck? All right, guys, I'm really going to go soon because I've got a call. Uh, if it's our reality, then did we create our parents to act the way they did before we were seven? No, guys. So no one does anything to, like, everything that's done to you as a child is other people's subconscious thought creating your reality around you because you don't have any subconscious thought yet. So they're creating it. It's their stuff that's being imposed on you. That's why children don't manifest their own abuse or shitty childhood. It's got nothing to do with them. It's the adults in their reality, Okay. It's not until you really start forming your own beliefs that things start forming for you. Um, what's this? Want money but don't want to work for it. Well, then say that, darling. That could be your affirmation. I get money and I don't even have to work for it. 
I write them down and say it three times a day. Why are you writing them down every day? Nancy, I don't tell you to write them down every day. What the fuck are you doing? You're sitting doing 369 or 55 by 5 or some fucking complete bullshit that I don't teach. I'm writing them down. You write them once so you know what they are. You never touch a pen again. What the fuck are you doing? Are you doing it like an activity? Oh, I'm having to sit down here and write my fucking affirmations again because the laws apparently told me to. No, I didn't. I don't teach that absolute complete bullshit. You've got to think it, darling. Think it, not write it. What the fuck are you being listening to? Not me, obviously. Go and watch all my videos on Facebook groups. You're lost as shit. I don't tell you to write anything down. Except the old story and the new story. Except maybe your perfect man checklist. Except maybe your dream life. But not writing it and writing it and writing it. Who the fuck told you to do that? Please don't do that. That's not going to do shit for you. And you're going to get sick of it because your hand will hurt. You'll write out of paper. And you'll be thinking, the fuck is the point of this? Because you're not thinking it. I, can, I, can, I can't fall asleep while visu- affirming or visualising. Well, no one can. How can you fall asleep while affirming or visualising? <laughs> Darling, do it while you're asleep. Have the affirmations playing. You can't try and visualise while you're asleep. How can you force yourself to do things while you're asleep? That's fucking impossible. You have to be some kind of Zen master manifester to force yourself to affirm whilst asleep. Don't attempt to do that. This makes no sense. Do it as you're drifting off to sleep, but not as you're asleep. How do you, how do you even know what you're doing when you're asleep, to be honest? Date with SP, how to manifest. Imagine you're together, darling. No, I write them once and then I read them three times a day. You wrote them once. Or you write them out once a day. I don't understand. You're meant to be thinking them, darling. Why are you reading them? You're meant to be thinking them. Think them. Think them. Are you thinking them or are you just reading them? Blah, 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 blah. Fuck, this is boring. What am I going to have for dinner? Think them, Nancy! Do you have too many that you can't remember what they are? That's probably why you're not thinking them. You should be able to think them while you're driving. Think them while you're on the toilet. Think them while you're in the shower. Think them while you're exercising. Think them. They are new thoughts. They're not new writing. That's why you're getting sick of it because you're turning it into an activity. It's not a fucking activity. It's new thinking. God damn it. In a notebook, I wrote it once and just read it out loud. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know why you're getting sick of it, Nancy. I don't know. It's because you're looking at the 3D and thinking, where is it? It's not here yet. Because you're not living in the end of your mind and understanding that it comes at its own time and you shouldn't be looking at the 3D for confirmation. Yes, I have too many. Well, then fucking stop that. Have five main ones, five main ones that you know off by heart and don't bother with the rest for now. Just learn the five main ones and just say them and say them and say them and say them in your head. Hi, Sarah. Oh, you just woke up. What do you think of witchcraft? It's manifesting with tools, darling. Um, hang on, I'm scrolling up. Loz, I tried listening to Dylan James but was waking in the middle of the night annoyed. I made my own sleep affirmations and I've been having weird dreams. Last night I dreamt a rabbit died. I don't even have a rabbit. <laughs> Look, we're doing a 21-day sleep affirmations challenge in my Facebook group at the moment, guys. It started last night, okay? So for 21 days we're going to sleep with our self-concept affirmations near us, down low, playing during the night on loop, on the VLC app or audio loop or Think Up or whatever app you've got. But VLC is free. It's literally just in your iPhone. You can download it and loop the affirmations you play, you recorded for yourself on your voice memos. Now, you can li- li- listen to Dylan James if you want, but I don't want to listen to him because his self-concept affirmations have nothing to do with me. They're bullshit. I need my specific ones, Okay. I woke up this morning feeling like some I'd been hit by a truck. I was absolutely exhausted. Now, I don't know why I was feeling like that, but obviously they had an effect last night. Normally, I wake up refreshed and I wasn't at all. It's going to be interesting to see what happens the next night and the next night and the next night because sometimes they, these things really affect you. Some people throw their phone across the room. Some people turn their phone off. Some people send pictures of their friends. Some people have nightmares. It's your subconscious not wanting to hear this new shit. It doesn't like it. Keep going. Had a dream someone was repeating some of them to me in a TV show. Oh, did you see her? I love it. Um, second night, listen to affirmations that keep waking up in the night and having dreams. Oh, okay, Sarah. I started the Dylan James yesterday but keep waking up. Well, some people are, darling. Should I live in Queen Energy, not 3D Energy? Absolutely. 
Probably your dad leaving and feeling abandoned every and every leaves like you're not. Oh, what happened, Claire? What did Claire say? Um, what's Claire saying? I missed it. I genuinely have no idea. I had a great childhood apart from my dad leaving. Oh, well, there you go, Claire. Apart from your dad leaving. So when your dad leaves, darling, you will assume for the rest of your fucking life that every man in your life, the man you love, will leave. At some point he'll leave. You're going to leave me, aren't you? This is too good to be true. At some point the other shoe is going to drop and you're going to leave. You're going to cheat on me, aren't you, aren't you, aren't you, aren't you? This is what's going to happen to me. And then they do. All right, guys, got to go. Can the new story be in point form? Yes, guys, absolutely. Is it better to do your affirmations in Dutch? I do them now in English because it sounds better. Guys, do it in your own language, please. What if I really want to reach out to my ASP? We'll do it then, darling. Um, you're so hermosa. What does that mean? Don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I've been hit by something fast moving. I'm exhausted. Yes, that's how I felt this morning. Like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I need to go back to bed. I couldn't drag myself up out of bed. Woke up annoyed. Yes. Not wanting to hear it. Yes, I had a dream. My SP left me and I woke up annoyed. Yes. Guys, your subconscious doesn't want to hear the shit. It no like it. It wants to lie there thinking of the old story. It doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Oh, Manny J. Moose here. Thank you, Loz. Okay, so Claire, listen to me, darling. You need to start doing some anti-abandonment affirmations. No one would dare to leave me because I'm too important to lose. I'm too special to lose. Once you've met me, you love me and you can't be without me because I'm the most lovable girl in the world. No one compares to me. I am irreplaceable. No one can replace me. Everyone is always telling me how special I am. People are always telling me how much they love me. No one would dare to let me go. I'm too special to lose. Start saying those things, darling. Okay? All right, guys, I've got to go. Please do follow me if you don't follow me already. I go live twice daily. I do do one-to-one -one client calls this week and next week, but after next week, there's finishing. And after that, I will have a self-concept and also get your SP back course coming out. I promise you, I just need to stop these calls so I have time to film it, okay, for you guys. And please do go to the Facebook group, Subconscious Laws. You can watch. All these TikTok lives back. There's over 180 lives in there. Plus, I go live every Friday on Facebook. It's much easier to get your question answered there. And you can write me a big, long question in Facebook because they actually allow you to write like an essay. Okay, we have wine on a Friday night. It's great fun. Okay, and you can ask questions in the Q&A forum there. There's a forum, Q&A forum. Look for it. That's the only place you can ask questions. Okay, you can't send them to the main page for approval. I won't approve them. The main page is full of success stories and encouraging posts and the lives. It's a lovely, positive place to be. Please do join, guys. All right, guys. Guys, I will post this one on Facebook, guys, I promise. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye.